this time with it says Ken, but that's actually Dan. See, it's Ken, but it's Dan. Ken, Dan, Dan, Ken. No, it's Dan now. Okay, let's go. And we're just fighting a guy. It's not just just a character. It's just a guy. All right, this is gonna be tough because uh, Dan intentionally is made to suck in games. I don't know if he sucks in this, but like I always said. Dan has always been one of my favorite characters, Gadouken. How far does the Gadouken go? Oh, yep, that, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Good you can. Do you have a Shinku? Yeah, look how huge that was. <laughs> my god, that's a weird animation. Um, one thing I'm very upset about is this. You can't taunt in this game. So yes, there's there will be no Dan Hibiki taunts at all, unfortunately. Go to you, Ken. Oh dear God! All right, guys, stop. Wait, what's his other uh, super here? There it is. Okay, it's the uh, Psycho Yukin, I think he calls that, or how he says it. Damn it! Damn it! I should say. Oh, wow, that's a three-hit combo. That's nice to know. I'll struggle to throw him over my shoulder. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that! Hiroksho! Yattaze! Onachi! Hey, it's Jentai! Jentai? Jentai. Jentai. This character, I have no freaking clue who she is, where she comes from. Sha, sha. All I know is that she's big. She is huge compared to Dan here. Go to Yukin. Kadukin. Uh, he's one character I really miss in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Those of you who don't know, even though it's considered an upset of a game, Street Fighter Cross Tekken is one of my favorite fighting games. And it's just upsetting that Dan's not in it. He's in it, but he's not in it. Like, he's not playable. Spoilers. Gadouken! That's actually a, um... I think that's a Hadouken sprite from... Yes! That was the best... That was the best victory animation I've seen in this game so far. I haven't seen them all. Okay, I've only seen a few. So the go This Shoryuken... As he calls it, the Goryuken. As it sounds like he's saying. It's a three-hit combo either way. The only difference is how high he goes. This music is rocking, though, for this character. Da da see ya. He will Take that. You're dead, Gentai. You have a strange, like, KO'd animation. Or a strange KO'd sprite. Going against Guile. Watch me go against Sagat during this playthrough. I just realized something where this music on this stage is coming from. Is that little boombox right there. Right there, right next to me. Is that yellow boombox. This they, they do it every time on this stage. They play it from that boombox. Really wish Mugen had destructible environments. It's a little upsetting they don't. I'm sure somebody can code it in, but probably really hard to. Probably it doesn't, I don't know. That's what I love about Mugen, though. It's just a mashup of fighting games. Granted, a lot of characters are over or not very well balanced, but hey. What do you expect? Oh boy. And this is a complete Mugen game, by the way. So, everything was made from the ground up. Yush! You've seen it in the credits a couple times that I have. That I don't edit out sometimes I do just for time constraints, but yeah, a lot of people worked on this. It took me a long time to find out who the heck Ajax was. Because I'm like, Ajax, hey, it's that guy from Deadpool, but no. Apparently, Ajax is Martian Manhunter. Yeah, that's Martian Manhunter. I don't know why he's called Ajax. Kinda wish I knew now. Maybe I'll look it up, see what why he's called Ajax. Take that, Guile. You're dead. And I'm not. I am Dan, and you're not. 
Hey, I mentioned Cheetah in the previous video and she comes out of nowhere. Fantastic. And the Ginormica, giant, giant Trist, or whatever's back there. These lions are all getting ready to pounce or, you know, just get it on. Except for those cheetahs back there. You gotta have cheetahs in Cheetah's stage, you know. Didn't she kiss Batman in the Justice League cartoon? I believe she did. She was different looking in that, too. She didn't have long hair. She had short hair. Suck on that! Oh, I can combo, too. Oh, Dan Habiki. This is... This is actually kind of really fun. I hate that animation of his arm there. It just looks like... Uh, it looks like it's just jello. Just blah, 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 blah. Show me what you've got. Give me... Oh, wow, that kick. Look, look, look. Meow, 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 meow. Alright, that kick's not going to do anything. Oh, I just chopped her right in the face. Chopped her down. Shinku got Dukin. Alright. Alright, take that. And that. Got Dukin. Got Dukin. And there we go. Yeah. Suck on that. Cheetah, you and your you and your strange animation that has your butt in the air. Did you see that? Or death the animation had a butt in the air. And of course, this is truly the ultimate battle. We all know that the only character in existence that can defeat Darkseid is Dan Hibiki. Dan Hibiki is secretly the strongest character in the world. He just doesn't he just holds back all the time. In fact, I believe if Capcom, as in Street Fighter, had a crossover fighting game with Dragon Ball Z, which some people seem to want, but I, just, I want it as Capcom versus Shonen Jump just to get more characters in there. Probably will never happen, or it will happen, it will just never come overseas. Dan will probably be the one character they would pair up with Broly, and Dan would be able to... Be the one to calm Broly down, be Broly's friend, all that stuff. Granted, it'd probably be Hercule they pair him up with, Hercule Satan there. But, yeah, Dan would probably be, like, Broly's good friend buddy who's like, you know, I can't kill this guy because he's hilarious. <laughs> I just realized we just dominated Darkseid there. Told you, Dan Hibiki, savior of the universe! Okay, I kind of wish I got the first shot, but that's fine. Just realized Dan's portrait up there. Oof. It is from, uh, I think it's X-Men vs. Street Fighter. They just changed it up a bit. He's smiling that while in the other portrait he kind of makes like a pouty face. Suck on this or not. Alright, take that. Let's go. All right, all right, Parallax. Show me what you. Oh, well, why am I going for a super right now? This isn't the last round. Yeesh. The battle continues. Fight. Let's go. Okay, that that does it. It's weird how they make you do that super. Because he has the uppercuts, but they do it with a different motion. I guess it's because they wanted him to have the uh, Shin Shinku Gaduken or whatever. Gaduken! Suck on that. I'm gonna just... Nope. Gaduken, Gaduken, Gaduken doesn't work. Sha, sha, see ya. Yeah! Suck on that. Yeah! Not what I was looking for. That's what... Oh, he kicked me out of it, that prick. Sorry for, uh... Kind of cussing? Yeah. He's got a machine gun! This is gonna be interesting when I finally get to Parallax, which I believe will be after Evil Ryu. Which is after Bizarro. Which will be after Dan Hibiki! Haha! <laughs> well then! We did it! With Dan here. I hope you enjoyed this Street Fighter Cro- Bleh, Sorry! This Justice League versus Street Fighter Mugen playthrough with Dead Hibiki. Stay tuned! My name is Klinkervoth. We're not just done yet, but we're almost done. And I thank you all so much for watching.